It's one that I'm going to partially answer and then suggest that you go and talk to. A professor from the University of San Francisco, who is also a lecturer at the Uganda Cancer Institute, is using fine art pieces and pictures of those who have succumbed to the disease and historical pictures of cancer survivors dating back to the 60s to create more awareness about cancer. Different kind of approach to deal with the same issue and uh -huh. topics. You don't come as a patient and walk in and say, I'm here, and then the nurses say, great, here's your bed, settle on in. People are coming up with buckets. <laughs> you know, this is the this is the kitchen uh, that was at the institute for um, for patient caretakers up until recently at the at the LTC. Her art pieces from the 60s reveal how cancer patients were ferried to the cancer institute using buses and show how the patients received care and treatment. And you know, because this was a clinical trials facility for chemotherapy treatments at this time uh, in the 1960s. Uh, you know, the drugs were provided for free. To Marisa, this is a contribution towards Uganda Cancer Institute. Her work has since received appreciation from her followers and cancer patients. But I would be dead and would have had a very, very painful uh, sick bed. Mm -hmm. And um, reason being that the cancer was discovered with me in a very early stage through a general checkup. And that wouldn't have been the case here. So by the time I would have gotten to the hospital, it would have been too late. <laughs> and that goes for a lot of people. By the time they get to the Cancer Institute, the cancer has developed so far that it has, that it has become hard to treat it. And that is partly just due to you know, ignorance, but partly also economical circumstances. The failure of the health system. <laughs> Cancer topples the list of the deadliest killer diseases in the entire world. Globally, the cancer burden is on the increase, especially in low- and middle-income countries. According to the World Health Organization, there will be 13.2 million cancer-related deaths by 2030. That is 14 million new cases in the next two decades, rising by about 70%. In Uganda, breast and cervical cancers are the leading causes of death among women. Among men, it is post-trait cancer.